Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'll be reviewing Sky by Aesthetica in the color Chrome RT1B. On Monday, I had my video go up for my favorites, my 12 favorites from 2021. And Sky is one of my favorites for 2021, but it is the only one that I showed that I had yet to review. It was just one of those things that just went poof. And despite how much I have worn this wig, I purchased it from a beautiful wig sister. And she, I, I think I got, I, I think I purchased this one sometime in the summer and I couldn't put it down. I actually want to order two other colors of Sky because I just love it. It's easy to wear. It's just one of these throw and go. You have your lace front, you have a left, a mono part, and we have traditional fibers. Even though I purchased it from a wig sister, it is available at Wig Studio One. I will leave the link to Sky down in the description box for you. And there is a 30% discount on all Aesthetica at the time that I am recording this. Sky is an angled bob. It is a little shorter in the back, not by much, and a little longer in the front. This is how I wore my hair, this style, for a long, long time. I absolutely love it. On Sky, we have a bang of six inches. So, yeah, my face from hairline to chin is seven and three quarters, so you can kind of gauge where it's going to fall on you. We have sides of nine and a quarter. So right down here, it seems like as if there are some layers. Then we have a crown of nine inches and we have a nape of four and a quarter. So easy to wear. I cannot say it enough because you know, you, you find a wig that you, you're getting ready to walk out the door and you're like, okay, what hair am I going to wear? And this is the one that I would reach for because it's so easy. It doesn't rub against my clothes. It doesn't matter if it's winter. It doesn't matter if it's summer. It's comfortable. And as all aestheticas, they run on the larger side of average. There is a lot of stretch to aesthetica. And if you wear, my circumference is 21 and three quarters. If you have a little bit larger, 22, 22 and a quarter, you, you shouldn't have any problem with Aesthetica. They do an incredible job with their wigs to fit. And of course, you could always cinch them in. But I have to always give the disclaimer, I really don't have any way of gauging how small it will go or how large it will fit because I could only go by my fit and I could tell that they're stretched, but I don't know exactly how much stretch there is. Let me show you Sky on all sides and then we'll talk about the color. Let's uh, talk about the color. This is Chrome RT1B one of my favorite grays all around. We have a blend of gray and white, but it's blended with 25% brown. And I think that's one of the reasons why I like it because I'm a natural brunette and it's not so white. We do have that blend here. This was actually one of the first grays I ever dared to wear. And we have an off black root. So our root is very dark and then we have the brown blended with the gray and the white. It doesn't look as stark. Now, because I have worn this wig so often, I do want to mention that I had added some dry shampoo when I first received it, but that's all I've done to it. I haven't done anything else to it. Unfortunately, I can't show it to you out of the box because I have been wearing it for so long, but I at least wanted you to be able to see the style and see how it looks and my and hear my thoughts about it. The uh, lace front, we do have knotting because we have an off black root. However, Aesthetica did a nice job adding some of the gray and the white on 
the front. But because of that off black root, we do have knotting. The coverage is excellent on it. Here is my hairline and here are the ear tabs. Excellent, excellent coverage. As you can see my hair, I do, I did add some root powder because I'm going to be going out, but, um, it, it just, I just matched the, my hairline to the root of the wig. So if I wanted to wear it off the face, I can do that. This side, my hairline is a little bit lower than the other side. Does anyone else have that a lower hairline on one side than the other? Is that just me? Nevertheless, I still have good coverage. If you don't have this low hairline, you're not going to have any issues with coverage. We have a little bit of permatease right here at the side, not by much. There's, it's very minimal, uh, just what's needed because otherwise I think it would be too flat. And the density is just a nice on the lower end of average in density. So if you wanted to tuck sky, it's done very easily because we don't have high density here. It's very easy to wear. So we could wear it tucked. If you want to wear it that way. Wear it with a headband. And that looks really pretty. Add a couple of clips. move it that way I've got some flyaways for flyaways I like to use the simply styling and all I do very little very little I can't I, I cannot stress that enough too much of this will make our wigs look greasy and that's not a look I'm going for so I just spray one or two sprays in my hand I rub my hands together and the flyaways are gone. I will leave Simply Styling linked down for you in the description box. I do have a 25% discount code, or you can find it on Amazon as well. Whichever way works better for you. Okay, no more flyaways. That just, it just takes care of them right away. All right, let's take a walk outside so you can see Chrome RT1B out in the daylight. I'll show you the cap and then I'll come back. Take a look at the cap. We have a left mono part, just a tiny little bit of permatease over to the right. Nice, generous lace front. And as you can see, it's all one piece. So we don't have that strip that sometimes they add. We don't find that on, on Sky. Belt covered ear tabs. Actually, the lace goes all the way down to the ear tab. We have an open extended nape and we have hook type adjusters and a nice stretchy cap. I neglected to mention when I was going over the, the styling that if you wanted to add some bangs to Sky, you can do that. The only thing, my, my suggestion, because we do have a left part, is to maybe take a hot airbrush and use it just to train it where wherever you want it to go. But you can add a, a bang if that's what you like or a little fringe, just trim it. I know some ladies really like to do that. 
All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you spending this time with me. Let me know what you think about Sky. Let me know what you think about Chrome RT1B. I would love to hear from you. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day and I'll see you next time. Bye.